Hi, Mr. Fix-It Rick here. I just wanted to show everybody the experimental setup we have for the uh, science fair. Uh, Rowan, my assistant, and I had a display at the local uh, Michosin science fair. And um, this is what we had. It was, uh, it's a bucket with a pump inside. The pump feeds into a Tesla turbine underneath. It's actually one that Rowan himself put together. So the pressure comes in through the nozzle, spirals around through the disc, and in through the center post of the turbine where it dumps out to the drilled out uh, center post of the cake box spindle. Six uh, half inch heavy duty neodymium magnets and glued onto the top disc of the turbine. And that's uh, what makes it work as far as uh, being able to attach different attachments and so on. You can see it's very easy to hook up. Just one attachment, hit the power switch and away we go. Put on the uh, cover, stable, there we go. And the magnetic ball. If I just set it on there, it wants to go backwards, strangely enough. It just wants to rotate backwards to the uh, direction of the turbine. So what I let it do. Now what happens is when I turn off the turbine the ball keeps going because it's attracted still to the six uh, magnets found in the bottom part of the uh, in the top of the turbine uh, underneath the uh, the uh, plexiglass cover here. So that just uh, shows how that works. I just start up the turbine slowly and you can see that the the magnetic ball will go in the direction of the turbine if I go it very slow. It has to be really slow because it actually wants to go against the direction of the turbine. There, it's going with the direction of the turbine now. Now it's going backwards to the direction of the turbine. It's a very strange thing. I'll shut the turbine down to a very, very low speed. Stock rate now, turn up a little bit. Yeah, it's just going slowly there now. But even when the turbine is going slowly, the ball will rotate actually faster than the speed of the turbine. Um, it's because of the magnetic uh, effect of it here.